Hello YouTube. Welcome, welcome back to Akubo's channel again. Uh, as you see here, there's a bottle sitting in front of you, half of it, you know, half a bottle. So what's going on here? I hope everybody's doing good today, uh, staying healthy, and let's do this. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to show you how I take the brine shrimp out of my uh, brine shrimp hatchery and take it to feed my fry. And... After that, I'm going to show you how I make my brine shrimp. Also, just to show you, in case we go, something goes wrong, uh, this is the type of brine shrimp that I use. From via Amazon, I bought it. And this is a, one of the greatest brine shrimp eggs I've ever hatched. Very small. Uh, as you see on top, there's brown a little bit. Those are the shells, the hatched out crack shells and the brine shrimps are on the bottom and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take them out of there right now so what I have here is another half a bottle with a coffee filter with a rubber band nothing on the bottom as you see this is a shot not too tight I, I'm going to have to reopen it yes so it's shot and then watch me watch me do this okay so here we go the brine shrimp eggs are right here you can maybe see some of the brine shrimp moving in there they all hatch the eggs are on top floating very nicely so we don't want to shake it too much so we don't mix them all back together and now very nice and easy I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sorry about the camera moment guys just a second I'm gonna focus there we go so thank you for guys tuning in if you're watching this video is gonna be about half an hour 40 minute video uh, stay by I see some people showing up I'm sorry I'm not uh, saying hi yet by names but I will in a minute just let me show you what's going on this is gonna be done fast so just like you saw me on, uh, I, I did, I undid the cap and let the water run down. And what's that doing is uh, pouring down the coffee filter, and the eggs, I mean the brine shrimp stay in the coffee filter, and the water goes down, as, as you see. And do it again you know don't open it all the way just like until it fills up and then you close it back up and there's other method there's stuff that they sell with little nozzles and I didn't want to do it that way this is working good for me I'm gonna stay you know cheap and easy and fast I don't want to order parts and I'm washing this every day these parts and stuff so I want to use them for a while so when it fills up, I close it back up and wait until it goes down. You need to get a type of a coffee filter that won't clog out right away. Good type of coffee filter. Will not tear up fast. So that's one big deal. If you don't have a good coffee filter, it will not work for you. It will rip and will go. all the stuff will go down in the bottle. So I had that problem in the past until I figured it out how it's working for me. And this is the way it's working right now. Uh, I see a lot of brine shrimp, a lot of oranges in there. There's some eggs do mix with it. That's not really harmful for the aquarium. For my method, it's not harmful. So I'm going to wait until it's all down. Alright. I see Sandy... I see the Blackwoods, I see Southern Aquatics, say hi to everybody, I'll be getting back with you guys. I saw Stevie earlier, uh, hello Stevie, you asked me to make a video the other day and this is kind of like an educational video and a kind of DIY style, fast and easy to hatch brine shrimp so you can have 
baby fish so you can grow them up if you don't feed them they'll die you know you can breed as much as you want but you gotta feed those babies so i have a lot of fry everywhere right now beta fry beta fish i've been cross breeding breeding them crazy and so they're everywhere i'm gonna show you right now how i feed them also so just stay with me all right guys and i'm gonna show you how i make the brine shrimp eggs i mean the cook the brine shrimp eggs in a minute too so let's get this going again Hey, it's been three days. I haven't gone to the LFS. I miss those guys. Uh, I'm gonna keep myself in the house for like quarantine 15 days, like you know, everybody's saying. So, if you go out, that doesn't count as a uh, day five or day six. That's it. You have to stay in the house the whole time from day one to day 15 and make sure you have no fever, no nothing in case you came in contact with other people. This is not for everybody, guys. I'm just saying that's what I'm doing, all right? Not losing my head or anything. Just following the government's rules. It's all crazy out there. I know. Right? We all know that. Chewy's here. I, he I hear somebody say hi to Chewy. Hello, Chewy. Thanks for stopping by, Chewy. Um, looking on the camera here and there so this tank behind you I see a lot of watermarks uh, it's a little dirty uh, I have uh, the German uh, rams right here the German rams not the German blue the what is it called the Bolivian rams the Bolivian rams yeah Bolivian German sorry this almost done with the water so I'm while I'm going on, I'm going to show you what's going on right here. Okay, that's enough. So what happening is you see the eggs, look how it's all. These are the shells, guys. Look how nice this works for me. Uh, all the way down, there's no more water. There's some. I, I What I'm going to show you right now, you're not going to believe it. Watch. So that water was the brine shrimp in there now. All the brine shrimp are in this top filter. Um, they're inside this filter right now wait until the water so the, there's some water in there I can't tilt it so what I'm gonna do it's see right there the orange and it's dripping so right now we're gonna go back and then redo this this cap you know the other bottle that I just emptied all the liquid in with the branch in, and then have it go back down in the ones that were in before and also so what I do is every 24 hour I start harvesting so I harvest my first harvest uh, 24 hour later I'll take some out brine shrimp and I put exactly like what I'm doing I re put it back on the on the the thing that I've done with the bubble you know it has to have bubble moving the brine shrimp around and so after 12 hours later, I'll harvest the rest of it and then I dump the eggs. Like right now, this one is going to be dumped because it's like no more brine. There's some left in there. I'm sure it's not going to be much. And then after so much later, it will contaminate. You know, I'm touching it as you see. The water's going inside. Uh, so that's not nice. There's salt in the water. It's a brackish water. And so when I did this, now all the water there. I usually take this one when I do it after 24 hour and we put it on the the cap back on there let the bubbles go back and finish cooking the rest of the brine shrimp until I I feed the one batch and then I'll come back when a second time I come back the eggs are fully cooked and they're like almost all of them are out so you got I'm gonna show you in a minute it's like really orange in there but there's still some liquid let it go down yeah you see from the bottom right it's really orange all the nice and healthy baby brine shrimps are all inside there so now this one here like I said after 24 hours this been passed way 36 hours some babies left in there not whole a lot guys I know I've been doing this for a while and it's working for me this way I'm not wasting a whole lot if you have another method you can take the rest of it out be my guest if you want to keep it longer on the bubble machine that would work for you it would do you can do that too 
So for me, I'm doing 24 hour harvest and 12 hour harvest and then throw it away and start a new batch. So that's what I'm doing again. And now, this here, all the branch, I'm going to wait until all the liquid is done and I'm going to put some fresh water back in here and have it go back down again. And then we gonna feed it. We'll see. Let me put this away for a minute. So yeah, this is a DIY. They're uh, Aquafina bottles I kept a long time ago. As you see, I cut them in half. And I don't have any holes, like I said. Just the bottles. I keep keep them clean every time. I, I clean it every day. I, every batch I fish, I clean it. So... one is done. I'm going to set it aside. I can see babies in there, but not a whole lot. Alright. Set it right here. You see what's going on there? All the eggs are in there. Hey, this is Tank on Wheels. Have you guys seen Tank on Wheels? Tank on Wheels. Tank on wheels. Tank on wheels. So we got Brazilian Acaras in here. They got paired out, a couple of them. Here's a pair right there together. And I have some Bolivian Rams. Also, there's a breeding box. And there is baby Bettas in here, about four or so. Let me see. If, oh, there's one right there. Here's a fry. Here's a fry. One of them. I can see it, but... I see some in there guys so I know I've been feeding them every day and so they're doing good all right almost the uh, water is all out almost right here the brine shouldn't be okay so let's go and look over here and talk more about what I do with this guys this is where I hatch my brine shrimp. As you see, it's a DIY. Made it from plywood. I took a saw and I cut the holes. One, two, three, four. I have a air pump up there with the valve controls. So those things are so the water won't return in there in case of the water power. And the pump is on top, it doesn't matter. So here we go. The bubbles are here. And, and there's a heat lamp. Uh, I have to keep it warm at 80, 82 temperature so they will hatch. If, they, if you don't keep them at warm, they won't hatch. Just like anything else. Um, so now, check it out. Here's some uh, fry. I just hatched some here really recently, very recently. Uh, there's a bunch of fry in here guys a lot. Let's see if you can see some Uh-huh Look in the back. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, I just saw it. it It's on top of the water. I just saw it um, uh, There's by one the filter one the, one by the filter by the black piece of cord. You see it. It's moving so those are still small. They're going to grow fast. Um, here we go. Um, all those. Look at the branch terms. They're like moving. Ah! So I'm going to get something to uh, clean this mess up really quick. And hold on. All right. I'm going to put the camera down. Just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Need something uh, right here. So turkey baster would work, or one of those. Um, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I just had it in my hand, guys. This would work. Let's do it with this very carefully. So I'm gonna take some aquarium water and put it on there and carefully not to suck any beta fry and that way here let me show you real quick what I'm doing 
So I took some of this water right here. I put it on top so I'll get all the brine shrimp down here. Let's see. And then they have salt on them. You have to clean it, remember? So that's what I'm trying to do. So I have fry in here. Those are big fry. I can see I'm not sucking any out. And this way, uh, I mean, I'm going to add some and I'm, I'll am i be taking some water out and then later I'll add more water in that tank. Uh, kind of little mini water changes. By the way, you see this water is yellow. It's not, uh, some of you know, it's not dirty. It's just tannin'. I've been doing water changes here, not taking out, only adding. Only time I take out by doing what I just did, you know, some brine shrimp. Uh, only adding some of the evaporated water and the fry are right in here, guys. They're getting big. Let me see if we can see anything in there. Um, let me bring the light over. Well, I see a bunch. There's one right there. There's one right there. I see about 20 to 30 in here, but you have to look around. Uh, I also added a filter yesterday. So guys, while that is draining, I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna be doing. So here's my uh, water. This has nothing in it right now. I just filled it up, just a bubble. And what I do next to this water is I take exactly a, a tablespoon, measuring tablespoon, and I take some salt. What I'm using for that is salt baja, sea salt crystals. It says, look, this salt does not contain, oh man, let's do it this way. This salt does not contain, not provide iodide. A necessary nutrients so there's no iodine in here that's very important you can't put this type of cooking salt with iodine in there so I use this salt and it works guys it works I am not joking it works and this is a cheap salt like 79 cent 80 cent you know cents still less than a dollar at a 99 cent store or grocery stores So next, I'm going to take some of that salt and put it in the, getting it everywhere, of course, every time. A nice big tablespoon of it, you know, level it up. That's good enough. So, here watch me do this uh, open the cap just like that I'll get the salt and I'll dump it in there the whole thing just like that there's no eggs in there yet guys so let's close that and let it about 20 minutes or as long as you want an hour less or you can just add the eggs right now if you like it's up to you uh, it worked I tried every kind of way it worked so Here's the brine shrimp. Let's go look in here again. Some fries, baby, small fry in here. It's about, it's about 25 of them in here too. So the breeding on this, I'm very excited. The breeding was a uh, black samurai to a nice koi galaxy. I don't know how they're gonna look like when they come out. So I'm hoping to see something crazy black looking betas with the nice tails on them. Uh, well, we'll see, right? And for some reason, I bred the female and the male in this tank. They had their thingy going right there where the, the thing missing right here. <clears throat> you see the leaf is in the back, fell down after everything was done. I took the parents out. First the mom. And then the dad separated them. They're in separate uh, together right now. I mean, in separate breeding box right now. So 
I put them in the breeding boxes in the side of the fish tank, you know, keep them warm and healthy, feed them every day, black worms or anything I can feed them, brine shrimp. Um, and let's see what happens. What do you guys think uh, it's gonna happen? What the baby's gonna look like? I can't wait. I have some bigger ones in the other tank, but I cannot wait to see those guys grow all up and see some big fries in there. Well, let's go ahead and put some. Come on, let me see. Get some of this water out. This is all out of water, clean water. I'm gonna use tank water for the brine shrimp. All the time I've been doing it. So, here's more water in there, and now I'm gonna take some of this brine shrimp, siphon it up in the thing, and right away go here some. Feed these guys. A little more. There's big babies in here, they eat a lot, guys, so. There's snails, they eat it too. Let's see, that's enough for right now. And then I'm gonna put some here. I'll kind of separate it all over the tank and then the babies will find these things and eat them all up. Uh -huh. Now watch, you see all these little particles are brine shrimp. And they'll be swimming and the babies will come up right now and Yum 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 munch them all down guys no joke it's so fun to watch that babies growing in front of your eyes uh there's one right there look it's got a belly full of brine shrimp uh it's right here right here hold on of course you can't see them <laughs> they're so small These guys are still small, so give them about a week till you start seeing them really better. There's about good 20 in there, hoping more, so we can see multicolors and... On top of the rock there's a couple of them, look. Alright, let's go somewhere else and feed some of this brine shrimp, let me see. So you gotta watch, you know, is it enough? What we put in here, I wanna see brine shrimp everywhere, kinda. Uh-huh, it's enough. And if you wanna turn off the filter until it's all done, you can. They're not running on full power, it's just like barely blah, 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 bubble coming out. So it will stir the top of the water. Uh, I put a filter in here, I'm thinking to grow these guys up here until they're like about a month old and then separate them. We'll see what happens. I want to see some of them but I can't guys. Literally they're uh, hiding and they're here. Look, they're in the bottom. Look this one right there, big one. Right there is moving around. Oh, the pair are very beautiful. Jay's better. Uh, yeah, look, daddy. Let me show you daddy. Look. That's the daddy. Look at the dad, dude. And the dads. No joke. And the mom is a black samurai. She's next to him on the other side. But she can't. No, he can't go there. She can't come over. He blew another bubble nest. But I don't want to breed him. I did put a... Uh, uh, the, the tannin thingy on top so they don't you know the, it's really works this leaf tapa leaf stuff it helps them not to get fungus on their fins and stuff and there's water constantly going from here and returning back so and the filters are in my big this is a 50 gallon nice Tanzanian tank heated uh, temperatures are at 82 so yeah, look, he's going after her. I know it's a little stressful, but uh, I'm gonna throw some moss so she can hide behind. And I just put them in here where they were 
in a little bottles like cups like this for a couple days with metal in blue in them and I kind of decided not, it's not fair for the betas to stay in these things so I don't want to keep betas in those little thingies guys either I'll sell the betas or I'll just keep them in those they, this works this one filtered water so constantly no problem I haven't had any deaths in those little things but I had deaths died better in here a couple of them lost uh, you know there's no heater in here the water is I change them but still they don't make it three four days I change the water still don't they don't make it even with metal in blue you can still kill them it's better to have a uh, life plants there's some uh, guppy grass in there all right let's go back so that's the parents of these guys these guys the pair was a koi to koi um the, the beta let me show you where it's at hold on let's go back into another tank and feed okay i want to feed this tank right now watch i have some baddest baddest i have some uh white cloud minnows no mountain mountain minnows yeah white cloud mountain same thing and there's some dario dario badass badass there's barbs so let's do it put some brine shrimp in there hold on a minute guys um yeah it's not easy to do it with one hand okay give me a break and I don't want to dump everything everywhere uh, I want you guys' help I see there is how many people we have here I don't see how many people we have here but I see a bunch of people if you watch this later on too so I have an idea I was talking to Zen Ginger earlier telling her that you know I passed my time for the giveaway I have to give you guys something you guys keep coming back here and watching my channel look at that all the brine shrimp and to thank you guys I have to give you something so do you see in my tanks a lot of live plants so what do you guys think about me doing a nice trimming on some of my plants not this tank it could be another tank it could be the tanks of uh, you know take some out I have a bunch of crypts that I can and do a giveaway with it. What do you guys think about that? I know a lot of people are needing some plants. They, I've been seeing a lot of people asking for plants, floating plants. I have make a big package for the person that wins and make give them maybe about 25 to 30 plants, different floaty ones and all kinds of it. Brazilian penny words and uh, Japanese... Uh, all kinds of it you can, but you know we'll see what I can what do you think about that is that okay is that not okay let me know guys in the comment if it is I'm thinking about something like that so the brine shrimp here they're everywhere and you're gonna see the fish are going crazy eating it right now everybody eats that I also have some nice shrimps here and there's the snails in here Jay's Beta said, I love some plants. That sounds great. Self, uh, cellophane Aquatic says, well, that's that's that would be a really nice giveaway, guys. You will not believe it would be like maybe three, four hundred dollar worth of giveaway. It would be big worth. Like, you know, because I, when I bought these plants, believe it or not, for that plant right there, you see, it looks like a little nice, which is called Crypt Tiger Spralis. I have some of that right now to give away and if somebody want to purchase I can sell ah ha, 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 you funny guy Anthony is making me laugh right now yeah I don't know how to grow plants he said that's right I don't know this tank here by the way is not 100% cycled yet I'm working on it I've been dosing with potassium and iron only 
and my plants are going uh, yeah like you said Anthony I don't know how to grow plants that's in a, a pond again there's water cranium there's a pogostamon there is a laguidia there is another pogostamon hellfire there's pogostamon octopus there's all kinds of plants as you see laguidia moss I have plants in this place is no joke guys like over the top of the plants so anybody wants plants hit me up on my Instagram it's a DBD reptiles let me know which one you are interested I have a lot of different kinds you can ask me the names and I will look up if I have them or not and I'll let you know and this is one of everybody's favorite plants I know I see a lot of growers love this plant and it's everywhere in my tanks now like I have them in my Tanzanian cichlid tank also you know plants are also awesome so let's feed some another beta so here we go I'm gonna show you these betas right now I'm gonna feed these guys these betas hold on okay just a second guys I would like to show you what they look like too but I have to scoop one out and put it inside the glass thingy they're about half an inch long these are the ones I bred the first ones I bred they have already grown big I'm so happy about that there is about four to five in there it's okay four or five is good later on I'm gonna be separating the males from the females and putting um, Oh man, this is getting harder and harder. Okay, let's see first. Oh, there's one right now. Yeah. Maybe I should shut this water flow for a minute so you guys can see. Just a second. Okay, here. And I'll put a light in there. Hold on. Okay, here's one of them. You see it? That's one. That's another. Oh, he's a big one right there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, right there. You see it? Moving around. Also, this guy is big too. Those are my babies, guys. Look how big they got and so cute. Uh, I don't see nothing but blue in here so far. And this is a breeding box, remember? And this water here is auto. I've been doing nothing but auto water changes on this thing. So just to let you guys know if you want to know. Okay, that's enough. That's plenty. There's, uh, you know, make sure that they go everywhere so everybody would have fair, fair square share. Thank you guys for coming by. Thank you, Chewy, again. Thank you, Self and Aquatic. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, everybody. Earlier, I was uh, uh, with my buddy, JN Aquatics. I was watching his live. But Zen Ginger was there. She said she was going on a run for 30 minutes. And so... I hope she come back and watch this later. I told her I was going to make this video. And I promised Zen some plants. She deserves it. See that fry right there? It's not a fry no more guys, it's like a half an inch long baby. So the breeding box, I have rocks in there, I have moss in there, I have floating plants, and I also have co uh, covered the return so the fry don't flow over and I am covering the top so they don't jump out. There's only about five in here. Am I selling J beta is asking if I am selling my first beta fry. I don't know, should I sell them? Should I keep them? So I don't know. I kinda wanna not sell it. Uh I'm one of those guys that I don't wanna sell everything. Um I'll tell you the truth, I don't even like selling fish. I love keeping them. 
these guys are not getting any of it uh, pretty much I fed everybody here that I was gonna feed no not really I can give some more I have tens and you can let me show you real quick uh, you guys gonna enjoy this one wait 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 a minute wait a minute Sorry, camera's going everywhere, but that's how it is with me, guys. Hold on, okay? <clears throat> Quick last look at the betas right here. And later on, I'm going to separate the ones that are bigger. I'll do a little quick uh, video on them. So, watch this, guys. Alrighty, here we go. What are we doing? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? I think this is the best way. Hmm. Check it out now. I have a bunch of Neolamprologus caropunctaras here. Bunch of that fry. So they're right in this corner. I just put a bunch of. Uh, brine shrimp in there and they're gonna like love it here's my gold Aussies This is a Tanzanian community tank. If any of you don't know what that is, this is a shell dweller tank. That's why you see a lot of shells in here. And there are shell dwellers. Some of them are cave dwellers. And they, these guys' names are, like this one right here, it's called a gold head. Neolamprologus compressicep. And the ones with the white and the babies are Neolamprologus Caropunctaras. These guys here are the Chalidochromis Bashardi Black Mask. Also, I have a big tangerine compressor sap, the Alto Lamprologus. Um, we have a one Julidochromis in there, which escaped. <laughs> it's right there. It's a dark one. You can see it in the rocks, right? That's one of my Julidochromis transcriptus bimbas in the house I have a whole big colony about 150 maybe fry in the tank with only from one parent guys it's amazing how those guys just keep breeding non-stop they just breed after breed I do feed them brine shrimp also you know extra brine shrimp I give it there and I don't know what's going on here but these two I got them as a male and female they're together but should I separate them? Does it look like they're male and female? Is they're pushing each other? Is this one going after another? Is it both male? I don't know, guys. I can't sex these guys. It's not easy to sex them. But you see what just happened, right? That guy got kicked out to the side. They're all eating right now. They're trying to eat the brine shrimp. You know, it gets everywhere. So uh, There is a this guy here, the orange uh, tangerine, breeding with the gold heads. I have a bunch of fried of them. And he's, he's breeding with her, he's breeding with her. So he takes uh, this whole entire area and the female will go inside, he'll come and fertilize it and they'll kind of like stay by the shells as you see right there. And when I see the fry come out, their heads, the first time, I usually grab them and I put them in a breeding boxes. So this is my favorite, favorite type of uh, fish tank. And nothing in the world would change my mind on how much I love this Alto Lamprologus compressor sub. And it's like, it's, a, it's like a, man, I can't get enough of looking at it. I, this is my favorite, favorite tank. That's why I went and got a nice background for it too. Before, as you've seen, it was like a, the background that was like this. The back of the garage. Now we have a background in there. Well, we're missing a long light. This is a 60 gallon. We're just missing the big long light. No, it's all right, guys. I don't have lights. It's less electricity. They don't need that much light anyway. So the room light is enough for these guys. I do put the light here and there, there and here, and light it up. I don't like algae a lot. So to see, there's no algae in here. There's like, there's the shells, no algae on them.
Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoying it. This is one of my favorite favorite tanks. Let's go make some brine shrimp eggs. All right, here's the brine shrimp eggs, and now I'm gonna take some that I earlier I did the water here. You see, I keep this brine shrimp in the refrigerator the whole time keep it cool I had it in there for three months I didn't even know I thought it wasn't gonna hatch they were really like cold and I took it out I opened it it was brand new package and I was very happy that I bought this before I kept it in the refrigerator you can buy one and keep it in there for a long time so now I get that scooper that I took a salt with it earlier and then I fill it up like about right here guys not a whole lot like the, the edge of it like oh uh, man I gotta show it to you I can't just say how much right let me show it to you okay just watch the bubbles and the red light all right I need my both hands I had to put the camera down I don't have a tripod it's my phone I'm antique 1980 that's when I was born Alrighty, here we go. Let me show you guys how much I got out. Not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Like I said. Mm -hmm. You see like, a, like the... Not a half. Little less than a half. And it's pretty leveled. Is that good? This is a lot of eggs. Thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs. No joke. Give me a second. So I'm going to open that up. And dump it right in there. Just like that. Tap it, make sure this is water free so the eggs don't get stuck on it. And I'll cover the top back. This is my DIY style uh, brine shrimp tank. Like I said, this comes right out. You see, comes right out. And the, 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 the things that don't go through, they just sit there. I can in the future buy some of those little nozzle thingies from Amazon instead of taking them out. But I have to take them out and wash them anyway, so it's it's okay with me. This is working fine. If it doesn't work, I will let you know. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. This is working perfect. So to whoever doesn't know how to make brine shrimp, this is how I do it. Regular salt, a one tablespoon for a quart of water. Only one quart of water. This is exactly measured quart of water. I know the level of the bottle. And one quart water, one tablespoon salt, 20, 30 minutes later, let the salt dissolve a little bit with the bubbles and dump the brine shrimp in there as much as you like. You can put less than I put. And so that's how I do it. And 24 hours later, I'll harvest some. And then also stuff that is stuck on top like that, I'll, I come up every like 30 minutes or so. I make sure it's all mixed in there. You know, like that. Just give it a squeeze. Uh-huh. So it's all mixed in there. And the color of that water right now is brown, not pink. I see there's a red light. I know you guys can't see it. But I know this is brand new. There's not going to hatch in a minute. And so 24 hours later, some of the eggs will hatch. I'll harvest it. I know because it's like less than what I just took right now. After 12 hours, so it's like... Uh, how many I said 24 plus 12 that makes it 36 right 36 hours fully hatching the temperature goes up to 82 in here with the heat lamp this is a 100 watt heat lamp I'm not putting it straight on there it will cook it it will be like 95 it will cook it that's not good uh, so I have the this one on the side so right now I'm using this method later on in the summer I'm gonna unplug that I don't need that maybe I'll just put a regular light bulb and have light on there just give it a little warm for the night time so it won't go down to the 70s it will keep it down you know up on the 80s so that's how I cook my brine shrimp guys 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get inside the house and feed up the rest of those brine shrimp to the some of the little nano fish that I have in the house. I have uh, also uh, brought those uh, bumblebee gobies from the house. I put them with the uh, mud skippers. It wasn't a good idea. I hope they didn't get eaten. We'll find out. Uh, the wife said she watched the video and they said that they were fine. I hope they were. I seen the mud skipper jump on one last night. I wasn't happy about that, but it is what it is. We had to take those mud skippers out of that tank. I drip acclimated them to the brackish water back. I made the mud skippers brackish, by the way. I did add marine salt. Anthony Fishy Friend gave me some salt and I did add it in there. Thank you, Anthony Fishy Friend and the the chili little chromis yes they are very beautiful i have a colony of the chili chromis the viviatas chewy they're getting so big uh also uh those guys over there the my grow out tank tanzanican baby grow out tanks they're getting very nice and big so many things going on in here you know there's a lot of things thank you buddy uh, i wanted to tell you one more thing five gallon of water i'm adding two tablespoons leveled up of that marine salt anthony gave me for five gallon of uh regular water city water dechlorinated and the making it as a brackish water is that too much salt for five gallon to make brackish anybody knows the levels so far the fish is not acting up guppies are all good there is a ghost shrimp in there for brackish I, bumblebee gobies were happy last night i acclimated them they weren't even they were so happy swimming around they were going looking for food eating and stuff so what do you think let me know i think it's enough no no more than that I checked the parts per million with my PPM, it was like around 1700 parts per million. The plants are not burning, there's plants in there. So far so good. I'll let you guys know, I'll be changing the water more. So, let you know what's up with that experiment. That's that's the that tank right there, the mud skipper tank. I'm talking about the muddies. They're all in here right now, sleeping. I'll turn the light on later on. So I changed this area three times there was this rock right in here uh, it was kind of making the mud skipper one of them go under and I took it out alrighty let's turn it on I hope you guys like this video little live interaction with aqua and thank you for everybody showed up it's been like 50 minutes like I said I gotta go inside the house and feed the rest of the fish Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody. And again, everybody doesn't subscribe to another, I'll be upset with you. You gotta subscribe to each other. And give me some more subscribers and very soon I'll let you know. Uh, give me on the comments uh, if you guys like the idea. Some of you did like the idea of the plants. Let me know more please. And very soon I'll put some rules and stuff. We'll do a video. We'll have... Uh, somebody maybe help us another person to pick the names out from my comments or something or we'll do some you know collaboration somebody i don't have a laptop guys i'm kind of like that's why kind of holding me back if i had a laptop i would have done a long time ago uh, you know that's the thing i'm that's what's holding me back I, I i do this on the phone so just so you can see what's going on in the world out there you know share some nice things with friends and a lot of people <clears throat> this relaxes them very much uh, this is tank is getting really beautiful and busy uh, there, I can tell there was a deficiency in here that's why you see some leaves flying around also look at that pumpkin orange uh, shrimp Wowzer! that's a that's a shrimp right there on my filter Wowzer! guys woo, look at this guy I don't know what to call it, but if that's not an orange shrimp, I don't know what's an orange color. 
it's my camera you see it's not a good phone it's a Galaxy Samsung S7 broken in half shattered the screen still doing a good job for me but hey it is what it is Guys, Los Angeles is on lockdown. Don't go out. Stay home. Be safe. See you soon. Laters.